Hey everyone, this is Tim from Lateral G here. I am out of my garage. As you can see, I got my project Wagon. This is my 1966 Chevelle wagon build that I call Wagon or Wagon. Um, and but today I want to talk to you a little bit about this new welder that we just picked up. Now a few years ago we picked up the Miller Multimatic 215 and this is the 220. Now the 215 was kind of a revolutionary welder in that it could do stick, MIG, and TIG weld all in one. And that whole package only weighed about 35-40 pounds. It was super versatile. We built gates with it and did sheet metal repair and just about anything you could imagine. We did all the different processes to test it out and uh, we were really happy with it. But the one thing that kind of kept eating at us a little bit was that we couldn't TIG weld aluminum with it. Now this machine here solves that problem. So with the 220 it has all the same functions that the 215 has but it can also TIG weld aluminum. Now we don't do a lot of TIG welding with the aluminum but those few instances that we did were really wish we had a welder that could kind of do it all. And for the average garage mechanic kind of like what we're doing here small two car garage in our house this is a perfect all around machine for that. Now, I've already kind of set everything up here on this welding cart that we picked up from Miller as well. It's a really nice cart. It actually holds two bottles in the back, so we can have the two different gases, one for MIG, one for TIG. And actually, there's room below here, I'll show you, that we were able to fit in our plasma cutter that we bought from, welder, from Miller a few years ago as well. And that's the 625 Extreme Plasma Cutter that has worked phenomenal for us for a multitude of projects. Now, to start with this guy here, uh, it's a complete welder all-in-one, so it comes with everything you need. So we have the complete welder, the torches, uh, you know, even with the TIG, it comes with the pedal itself. Comes with two sets of gauges, so that way, you know, you can have one on each bottle. All the hoses you need. Uh, so first I want to actually show you inside here open this up. Now I already preloaded it with a large spool of wire and uh, but what you can see up here kind of out of screen a little bit is all the different settings that you need for the different welding processes. Now the torch comes in here and it's pretty simple setup very similar to our 215. Wire comes off here feeds into the gun and um, this guy flips down and that flips up and that puts it in the wire feed and goes out to the torch itself. So the chart up here is really handy for trying to figure out what to set this machine at for the different metals and processes that you're going to be using. Um, but this actually has an auto set feature that we found works pretty phenomenal. Now we use this a bunch with the Miller 215 that we had and basically what you do is you set your process on the front. You tell it, you know, kind of, okay, I'm going to be doing MIG welding and you set that, you set your thickness of your wire, and then you set the thickness of the material, and it'll correct automatically the uh, voltage and the wire feed speed so that when you're welding, you pretty much, it's kind of almost like that old TV commercial, you set it and forget it. And we found that 99% of the time it was spot on. There was only a very few instances where we had to just barely tweak maybe the, the voltage or the wire feed speed just a little bit for something weird we were doing. Uh, but we're really happy that they continued on with that and improved it. Um, and it. And it should work phenomenal just like it did in the past. So I wanted to show you the front here um, of the welder. But let me get it powered up. And if you come around back here, see the power buttons right here. Here is its powering up. So I can kind of read this here. Let me adjust I don't want to adjust on me. So here's the different processes that it can handle. And so what you'll do is, I mean, it, to go from one to the next is pretty much just pushing this button here. So you got a MIG steel with a 25% mix. And what it's showing you there, well, you didn't catch it, is actually how to hook up the torch and your ground wires and everything here. Um, but then what you do is you have the auto set on and up here is where you're going to adjust your wire thickness and so we have 30 thou and then over here you just do your material thickness so you're going to say hey I'm you know welding 16 gauge and you can kind of see here 
as I'm pushing it, let me get you in here a little bit better. As I'm pushing the differences, it actually is adjusting that voltage and the wire feed speed. So it works really well, but say you're on here, you're on 16 gauge and you just need a little bit more voltage, you can still come over here and manually adjust that. And it's probably not showing up on camera, but you can kind of see right here, like a set of crosshairs, that means it's that's set by the auto set. So if you go off of that, and maybe you make a weld and you say, okay, okay, I'm good, need to come back, it'll, it'll let you know exactly where it was originally. Um, over here is the TIG arc start. So you can choose the different ones. It's not lit up right now because we're not on TIG process. But, you know, whether you want high frequency, lift arc, or, um, you know, just which, whatever style you're going for there. Um, so right here is actually where, let me get this back. So right here is obviously MIG, comes out to the torch down here. Um, pretty standard as well. And over here is TIG, so we have the torch hooked up already, our ground. Um, here's, so here's the standard TIG torch. Right here is the port where the pedal actually connects. So you can kind of pop that on and off. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the this cart had room for our plasma cutter. So you can kind of see it down here. We have it hanging out down there. So that in a nutshell is the new Miller Multimatic 220. Um, we're gonna have a full story on this guy on lateral-g.net to where if you want to see pictures and everything else, like a more thorough review, I'd uh, encourage you to hop on there and read that. But for right now, I just want to kind of show you like an unboxing, so to speak, video, uh, you know, a review from high above, I suppose. And, uh, like I said, it's a great machine, and you can tell it's quality built. Um, we're really happy with the old welder that we had, so we're really looking forward to using this and being able to TIG weld some aluminum. Um, real quick, too, so this cart we actually picked up from Miller. Um, you can run it with just a single bottle configuration here in the back, but because we do plan on TIG welding and MIG welding, we upgraded it to, the, um, to hold two bottles. And you can kind of see on the back here as well, while I'm back here, these two red plugs. These are the different ports for your, your bottles, depending on which process you're using. And this thing is actually so smart that it can use, you could be in the middle of a MIG weld, grab that TIG torch, hit that pedal, and it'll automatically convert over to a TIG weld, and which we thought was really handy. I don't really exactly know when we'd need to do something like that, but it's nice knowing that I don't have to you know, pack away my MIG welder, drag out the TIG welder, get it all set up and everything. You can just kind of basically seamlessly go from one process to another, which we thought was really neat. Um, another couple really quick features I'll tell you about that we love is right now this welder is on. It is ready to weld. I mean, mine is hooking up bottles and such, but you don't hear a fan running, right? So this thing will only run the cooling fan when it's needed. When you're welding, the, it kicks on and you hear it, it's loud. I mean, not any louder than any other welder, but it's, you hear it, right? But when it, when it cools down, it turns off. So you'll see here when you turn off the welder. I don't know if you could hear it there, but it fans power on for a second or two before powering, powering off the machine. Um, the other kind of cool thing that this thing does is when you're in the middle of feeding it wire, so open this guy back up. So when you're changing out spools of wire, you get it run through there and you're holding that trigger, trying to feed it, it'll sense that and it'll actually speed up the wire feed speed so that it, kn it knows that you're feeding the wire through down the torch. Now in here is actually the other plug for this if you needed to plug it into you know, 120, 15 amp or 20 amp outlet. You can change it um, right there. So um, yeah, that is it in a nutshell. If you have any questions or anything, 
let us know. Uh, we look forward to using it on this guy right here. So we really haven't gotten to body work on it. Um, you can see here, this car originally had the side molding, so we'll be welding up those and replacing some quarter panels and such on this car. So uh, we're looking forward to testing this guy out. Thanks for watching. Bye.